In this episode of Travelog, we'll be exploring the eastern part of Hainan from a variety of water sports to sampling the art of making a fine cup of coffee at the Tropical Botanical Garden. Learn about the ethnic minorities' culture with the Sun Sun festivities. Welcome to Travelog, I'm Greta Georges. In this episode, we'll be exploring the eastern part of Hainan, from a variety of water sports to attending a Lee Ethnic Minority Festival. We've got it all figured out and packed in. So, put on your sunscreen and join us. Our journey begins 139 kilometers from Haiko in the north, in a place called Wanling. Coffee, black pepper, rubber, bananas, and sugarcane. These are just some of the famous local produce. But ultimately, tourism is king here, thanks to the winning combination of tropical scenery and luxurious beach. With a coastline 109 kilometers long and the beach a mere half an hour drive from the town, you may well be tempted to live it up. This is where we're going to stay because we gave ourselves a little treat. Pretty swanky, huh? Hainan is a popular winter retreat for people from colder climes, particularly northern China. Besides the accommodation being more affordable in Haikou, the sea is less polluted too. Watch out for the rainy season though from May to October. The best time to visit is during the dry season from November to April. With a wide array of five-star hotels to choose from, the competition only gives more leverage to the savvy traveler. There are lots of great luxury hotels like this in eastern Hainan, and this is a prime example here in Wanning. Rooms here go from 1,000 RMB onwards, and they offer everything and anything, plus a spectacular view. Welcome to Paradise, located 27 kilometers from Wanning city center. Founded in 1957, Singlong Garden is dedicated to botany and environmental protection. This visitor center provides a free guide and mosquito repellent too. But what I really love is this snazzy information tablet that comes in eight languages. The tropical monsoon climate all year round translates into lush greenery to gawk at any time you choose to visit. Xinglong Botanical Garden is not only a premium research center, it also doubles up as a great spot for a family vacation, with more than 2,000 kinds of tropical plants. The caliber of the tour guides is extraordinary, so your children will learn lots. If you're really lucky, the person leading your tour might just be a doctor researching his or her specialist field of study. So that's vanilla and you can find it in your ice cream, vanilla essence, when I used to bake my cakes, it's just right there. We got a lesson from Dr. Yenling on the finer points of creating that perfect cuppa. This是我们这个咖啡园我们一般做呢世界上最好的咖啡是处于北纬十五度水冷形容北纬十八度它的品质一般最好的每天形容人他早晨都要喝一杯咖啡的那咖啡要多少钱呢在形容它的咖啡很
This is this little bean that started it all. This is a cafe. In the family of Circulieta, it's introduced into Hainan in 1954. Affected by the climatic conditions, cocoa still cannot cannot be raised in massive areas. So here are the cacao trees. Now these are the only cacao trees that you can find here in China. You know, it's like a source of guilty pleasure for so many, but that's because it's been mixed with milk and sugar and all that stuff added to it. But if you eat it just as it is, well, not just as this is because it's really bitter, but, you know, if it's not been processed, it is packed full of antioxidants and it's very healthy for you. I'm in chocolate paradise. Wow. The most famous product on the plantation might be coffee, but there are some other hot favorites like pepper, durian, and mangosteen. But the most interesting plant is the traveler's palm. Its stem holds rainwater and it can be used as an emergency drinking supply. Mm. If you're feeling tired after the tour, you can head over here for your fresh free cup of they serve up to six different types of beverages, including vanilla green tea and this fresh cup of coffee grown straight from the ground. Now that's what I call rest and relax. China is not well known for its surfing culture, so here's a tip. You can hang 10 at Sun Moon Bay. China's biggest annual surf competition, Surfing Hainan Open, is held here. The owner of the surf shop will give you the lowdown on how to be smooth on the waves if you've never tried it before. A two and a half hour drive from Haiko, the waist high swells are great for beginners. It's a bit chilly and grey today, hence the wetsuit. Weather wise, I do hope you have better luck than me. Alright, I can do all that. That will be amazing. Okay, so. Hands on rail, nail to the boot, and toes on the tail. All right, here we go. Hua, hua, hua. Pedal, 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 pedal. My chest is up. Come down, All right, and then I'm surfing. In my mind, I'm riding the surf like a chan. But in real life, this is how I look. There are three things to watch out for. Balance, balance, and balance. If you're a snow or skateboarder, this will be much easier to pick up. Can you see him over the yonder? That's my point. He makes it look easy as a pie. You know what? I could live this way for a long, long time. If you're a pro, the waves do get higher for experienced surfers during the October to March period, when the northeast swells deliver the best waves of the year. Lots of moderate budget accommodation just 50 to 200 meters from the beach is readily available. Come and soak up fun in the Sun Yue Sun Festival. Get down to some monkey business at Nanwan Peninsula and learn how the local fishermen live. Ling Shui is a 90 minute drive south of Wanning, where you can beat the traffic with a high speed bullet train which takes only a fraction of the time. I've arrived here in Ling Shui. This is where San Yuan San happens. It's the biggest ethnic minority festival for Li and Miao. And Yuan San actually means March the 3rd on the lunar calendar. It's like, think of it as Christmas for the West. So if you're here in Hainan, make sure you find out where the festivities are because it changes each year. Historically, the San Yue Sun Festival or March the 3rd Festival is a chance for young Li and Miao girls and boys to conduct a peacock courtship ritual full of fun and games. 
a unique method, singing and dancing to attract attention. As the Lee ethnic minority live exclusively in Hainan, these celebrations are real and very special eye-opener. That's the stadium where the local festivities of the Sun Yun Sun will take place. I'm ready for some action. It's bright and early now and there's a sports event, so let's check out the local competition. Besides the ethnic beetle tree climbing competition, expect to see a whole slew of cultural activities. From painting and calligraphy exhibitions, this town is pulling out all the stops to impress. Maybe the children can teach me how to climb. Look at that. The natural climbers. Okay. Okay. He's very good. Okay. 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 These days, preparations for this festival begin a long time in advance, by way of a lively market. This is one of the best times to visit Ling Shui, as you can sample the local cuisine in all its varieties, lined up one after another. That's assuming you have the intestinal fortitude to stomach some dishes with curious names. Chicken poop soup, and there's some root, or I don't know, is this a noodle? What is that? Well, I'm just gonna give it a try because I think you should try one in your life. Okay, it's actually quite sweet. The thought of it actually is director. Is this actually chicken poop? Yes, I don't think so. Chewy. This colorful social event gets the ethnic minorities from the surrounding mountains mingling with the rest of the community. And it's a perfect occasion to share their handicrafts. This is a big day for the people here in Ling Shui. They're trying to break a world record with their mouths. Held in tandem with the Sun Yu Sun Festival, there will be 10,000 participants feasting on the famous Ling Shui sour noodles. Okay, now there's 9,999 people. I think I am probably a 10,000 person here. So I'm going to start eating. Yeah, I should know, huh? As the famous Greek writer Aesop once wrote, in union there is strength. There's such enthusiasm and joy as all the students come together to put their stem on this event. So, the next time you're coming, be sure to check out what are the latest happenings surrounding the festival. The Lee women have the tradition of tattooing their faces and bodies. But most of them born after 1940s no longer do it. Yes, that's the cable car we're going to be taking, whizzing us across the sea to Monkey Island. Got my ticket. Expect a long way for the ride if you come during a public holiday or the weekend, but it's well worth the time to enjoy such a vantage point. 
This is one of the longest cable car rides across the sea in China. Located off the Nanwan Peninsula, Monkey Island is 14 kilometers away from Lingshui County on Hainan's east coast. Though these animated furry creatures are comical by nature, word has it that they love peeping up lady skirts, so I suggest you wear trousers. You gotta be really careful with these monkeys. They are friendly, but they can get pretty aggressive, especially when they got all these food thrown at them. You gotta be careful with the possessions as well. I'm keeping my bag really close. Oh. Built in 1965, this 1,000 hectare state protected island nature reserve has nearly 2,000 macaque monkeys living in it. The jungle is a paradise for the monkeys, where they have a variety of plants and fruits to eat and numerous brothels to play in. With three monkey colonies living here, it is China's largest area for raising and training monkeys. One group is always here for some action, but it's tough to lure the other two colonies down the mountain even with an abundance of food. This family has traveled a long way to say hello to our furry friends. Hi, where are you guys from? Uh, we are from Florida in the United States. Okay, and um, is it your first time in China? Second time. I'm sure you, you've been to many different islands. Right. What sets this apart from other places you've been to? Um, I think the uh, I think this island is, is very, very unique and mm -hmm. uh, an opportunity to come and see the monkeys. And yeah, it's different. I haven't seen that on any other island. And we travel yeah. quite a bit, the Bahamas yeah. and the Caribbean. So. Have you guys got up close and personal with monkeys like that before? No, no, no. 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 <laughs> no. After some monkey business, treat yourself to a special seafood meal on the fishing rafts that are known as the Street on the Sea. Owned by the local Fan Jiaren, a term for the fishermen here whose families have been living out at sea for generations, the restaurant can pick you up by boat. Private transportation is affordable, but the novelty of having lunch here will cost you slightly more than what you expect on land. But it's an experience not to be missed, especially when everything is so fresh. No, I am not drunk. The restaurant is actually floating right now, so it's kind of moving side to side. This is a fish steak restaurant, and we're on top of water, so you can feel the movement. This food is really, really fresh. It's straight from the sea, and it doesn't get any better than this because you can even smell the salty sea breeze. Good, good company from friends. Is it good? Good seafood, yeah? Belly's full, we take a closer look at the lives of the Dan Jiaren. It's like I've opened up to another world. This is, it's like a little city on a sea. You, have, you see boats coming up and down, transporting people instead of buses. And, you know, they're going about their daily lives. People are cooking in these boats. They're fishing. They're doing their day's work. Hey! Besides Hainan, Dan Jiaren are also found in Fujian and Guangdong provinces. Seriously, they aren't an ethnic group, but having lived so long at sea, they've created their own unique identity. These fishermen have been living the same lives as their forefathers upon generations and generations and generations. They call Dan Jiaren, but unfortunately, this is as close as we're going to get to their way of life. Now they're very, very closely knit and they remain very guarded and fiercely, fiercely protective of their privacy. Um, but you can see from, from here that basically everything they do is on that boat. They live, they eat, they work, they sleep, they hang out with each other over there. You know, they've got pets. They do exactly what we do on land, but it's just that they do it in sea and they even have weddings on their boats as well they do tend to marry within their own local community now we i totally respect can we just get a little bit closer can we just zoom in a little bit closer just a little bit more nice nice 
It's a water sports haven at the Boundary Island. See dolphins, whale sharks, and turtles in this outdoor aquarium. Come and dip into the action for wet and wild time. Boundary Island acts as a demarcation line in more ways than one. It divides the northern and southern parts of eastern Hainan, not only geographically, but interestingly, climatically as well. So Boundary Island has tons and tons of water sports activities, and I heard it's one of the most varieties in Hainan. It takes just five minutes to get to Boundary Island, as it's only 1.2 nautical miles from port. Climatically, the ridge blocks the warm and wet airflow from the sea. And this creates an unusual phenomenon. Rain on one side of the ridge and sunshine on the other. This is the map of the entire island. And on the south side, you can do lots of scuba diving activities on the west, lots of water sports. Now, you can choose to walk through the greenery, but most people choose to stick to the blue. This is a natural outdoor aquarium, home to turtles, sea lions, dolphins and huge whale sharks. You can have a once in a lifetime close encounter with a whale shark. There you have it. We're going to go feed the gentle giant. It's just right over there. Can you see? Got my little equipment. Uh, I should be very careful with this because their mouths are really huge. Oh, here you go. Wow. I hope my camera really doesn't get sucked in. Look at that. What a powerful feature. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Hello. This is really an up close and personal encounter. It's just amazing. Look. Just putting in food and really gentle. How can this have a wonderful idea? Dolphin Cove is unique, as here the marine animals are raised in a natural and therefore very healthy environment with the ocean as the enclosure. For now, the island focuses at sundown. But with such rich marine resources, it's a shame you can't stay a little longer. That's why there are plans to build villas and hotels on the mountain, which will make it a perfect integrated family resort destination, with a winning combination of hills, rocks, submerged reefs, and pristine clear waters, these favorable conditions for diving have been attracting professional divers. And there's even a shallow area where novices can have a go. This is really great if you've never scuba dived before. They'll take you out. There's a dive master for everyone. So what you can do is just stand there Listen to instructions and follow. That's what you need to do. So this is a very, very professional video equipment. So what will happen is they're going to pop the cameras into this. Uh, it should be waterproof. And they're going to take a DVD of you when you're diving underneath so you can see how spectacular you look underwater. Hello, Wang Xiaoyan. Hi, you're going to take a long time. Seven years. Seven years. Oh, that's you. You're going to take a long time. Three years. Three years. Three years. Three years. Watch out, cameraman. He might take your job. <laughs> First, they put the weights on you. You hang like a rag doll. Just to make sure that you remain, or that you can actually see. Oh, oh, I'm letting go. This place is great for beginners. Because, um, it's actually really calm, and you have a dive master one on one. Make sure they're not. High five. Okay, all right. <laughs> so you can uh, come out here and have your own customized service. Yeah. yeah. And uh, leave a superb care of someone. Alright. I'm going to have my lesson now, so I'll talk to you later. From diving with dolphins to exploring the underwater caves and wrecks, corals and reefs, if you're a licensed diver, there's a whole host of exciting adventures to enjoy. Once you get used to the equipment, you gain full access to our blue planet.
oceans cover 70% of the Earth's surface, and I was in awe of the fascinating sea creatures we saw along the way. This spiky creature is living and breathing. It's a sea urchin and moves very slowly, feeding as it goes mostly on our gaze. Well, it's time for me to head up to another unfamiliar territory. fitting to end on a high note with parasailing. This is one of the most popular activities on the island, so book your spot early as the crowd bottles up in the afternoon just before closing time. Which reminds me, it's time to say goodbye. Hainan is a popular winter retreat for people from Koda climes, particularly northern China. Besides the accommodation being more affordable in Haikou, the sea is less polluted too. Watch out for the rainy season though from May to October. The best time to visit is during the dry season from November to April. With a wide array of five-star hotels to choose from, the competition only gives more leverage to the savvy traveler. In this episode of Travelogs, we'll be exploring the eastern part of Hainan from a variety of water sports to sampling the art of making a fine cup of coffee at the Tropical Botanical Garden. Learn about the ethnic minorities' culture with the Sun Sun festivities. Our journey begins 139 kilometers from Haikou in the north in a place called Wanmin. Coffee, black pepper, rubber, bananas, and sugarcane. These are just some of the famous local produce. But ultimately, tourism is king here, thanks to the winning combination of tropical scenery and luxurious beach. With the coastline 109 kilometers long and the beach a mere half an hour drive from the town, you may well be tempted to live it up. This is where we're going to stay because we gave ourselves a little treat. Pretty swanky, huh? Welcome to Travelog. I'm Greta Georges. In this episode, we'll be exploring the eastern part of Hainan, from a variety of water sports to attending a Li ethnic minority festival. We've got it all figured out and packed in. So, put on your. There are lots of great luxury hotels like this in eastern Hainan, and this is a prime example here in Wanning. Rooms here go from 1,000 RMB onwards, and they offer everything and anything, plus a spectacular view. 
Welcome to Paradise, located 27 kilometers from Wanning City Center. Founded in 1957, Singlong Garden is dedicated to botany and environmental protection. This visitor center provides a free guide and mosquito repellent too. But what 